This is breaking news, folks. Our hydrangea rooted cutting has survived almost one full year in this sealed cup system without any intervention. It's pretty amazing. So a lot of you have been following this little hydrangea journey from the very beginning, which was last fall. And I'll give you a little bit of backstory. Originally, somebody asked me, can I take cuttings of hydrangea right now going into the fall and then other people were asking can I take them now since we're going into the fall and root them on my windowsill inside the house well I obliged I went out to my landscape at that time of year last fall I took some cuttings and I came up with this little three cup system put them in my windowsill and got them to root and so far we've had 100% success rate here at this place with this method. I was a little shocked and surprised because I thought it wasn't going to turn out quite this well because the sun is constantly going down on the horizon more and more as the winter comes on. I thought this thing was going to slow down even inside in my windowsill. There's no way it was going to root and then continue growing. Well, I got proved wrong. If you guys are interested in seeing how I got proved wrong, you can click on the links down in the description and I'll take you all the way back to last fall to those original videos. Now, I highly encourage you to go back and watch those original videos because it'll give you more context to what I'm about to show you right now. First of all, hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the website down below and you can get access to everything I do around here. All right, let's get on with the show. And this is it. I'm pretty amazed, guys. I didn't know that this was actually going to work out this way in the end. You guys decided on what we were going to do with this, basically voting through your comments down below. And we went ahead and did exactly what you asked for, or what the majority of you asked for. And here's what the result is. Now, we're going to have another decision to make with this little guy because... It's still in this sealed little system. Let me get some close-ups for you and show you what's going on here. All right, here we are. And yes, my table is a mess right now. I need to clean all of that off. But this is our little hydrangea cutting, our little rooted cutting that we stuck last fall. And you can see it is flushed out with roots. But we originally stuck this last fall. And I don't remember the exact date off the top of my head, but I think it was in September. Might have been October. I'll try to find that and I'll put that down right here at the bottom of the screen now so you guys can understand fully. But it is in those original videos that I've got links to down in the description. I have not, and you're just going to have to take my word for this, I have not opened this system. I've not done anything with it. This is the original system, the original three cups, the original tape. I have not taken this tape off at all. We haven't done anything with it, and this is what we've got. So originally, that cutting started growing. At some point, I think it was in the spring, those leaves, those first leaves that came out started dying back, and then I thought it was done. And then new growth started coming up from way down there in the base of that soil, and I think it's on both sides. In fact, it, it looks like it is. We've got growths coming up on both sides. And they started taking over and growing up to the top of this cup while the old leaves died back. Now, the really weird, interesting thing is, you can see, because it's so humid in there, all those roots growing along that stem. They're just growing everywhere inside of that cup. And we've got massive root growth all over in this cup. This little guy is thriving. I mean, absolutely thriving. It loves it. I have not had any input of fertilizer at all, not even from the beginning, no input of water, no input of anything. Just so you see, there are no drainage holes on the bottom of this. That's where the three cut part of this comes in. We originally stuck this cutting in a soilless medium. It's just more of an inert inert well draining medium it's my finely ground fir bark there's no there's no composted material there's no fertilizer in this material i just use it for cuttings i originally stuck it in there and that was inside of a dixie cup that did have holes cut in the bottom then i put this cup over top of it that has no holes on top and then we put the whole thing inside of another dixie cup so that water coming out the bottom holes of the cup didn't they wouldn't drain out the very bottom so it's just basically to keep water from leaving the system then we taped the whole thing up so basically there's two cups down here one come up one cup up here and this tape sealing all of it together and that's it 
We've done nothing else with this system. It is completely intact the whole time, almost a year, still growing beautifully. Now, here was another one that we actually started and we did take the cup off and that was based on you guys voting and telling what telling me what you wanted and it's still got the double cup thing there because i need some kind of a little water holder so that it doesn't drain all over and right now it's kind of sucked down because of the water in the bottom but there's holes in the very bottom or the inside cup but not on this here because i don't want water all over my windowsill but you can see we've got roots not quite as many, but we've got lots of roots in there, good healthy roots, and we've got the cutting growing nicely on top. It's still sitting in my windowsill. In fact, both of these are still sitting in the same windowsill, and that's why I think they're just not growing massively. I never up-potted this one. I never did anything real fancy. It doesn't have tons of light. It's just in that, that windowsill that's not really heavily lit. Um, the one thing I did for this one, because we took the cup off, was I put a little light dose of miracle Grow occasionally inside of here just because I want to keep it growing healthy and green. And that's all I've done otherwise. And that's what we got. That's what it's done. So that one, we took the cup off and we fertilized it. And I've been watering it. I have to water it because it dries out. But I'm only watering this one maybe, I don't know, once a month. Really not that much. And then this guy here has been completely sealed the whole time. And... I cannot be more blown away by the results of that. So that brings us to a question. What do you guys want to do with this little hydrangea cutting? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below. I know what I'm inclined to wanting to do with this little cutting, and that is to leave it in this pot and see just how long it can go. I mean, I'm pretty amazed by all this. I had no idea it was going to live this long in this completely sealed up system with no input, no water, no fertilizer, no nothing. I didn't know it was going to do this. I mean, you can see eventually it's got some fungus. It's got some bacteria in there. The leaves are rotting in there. So eventually all that's going to create some type of a fertilizer for that plant to continue growing with. And there's just this constant little natural cycle going on in this sealed system. It's like its own little world, its own little planet in there. And I think it's just absolutely amazing and fantastic. I would like to leave it here and just see what happens. But you guys let me know. We could either... We could either take it out now and pot it up, although we're going to have some trouble with that because I can't bring it out into this nice, warm, well-lit hoop house because it's going to be head into cooler weather. I would have to leave it inside so it's not going to get its fullest growing potential. Or we could just leave it in this and I could put it in a windowsill. Now, you guys know I'm building a house right now, and so the windowsill that's in is going to have to move somewhere in the middle of winter, but it could be in a windowsill, a similar windowsill, all winter long, and we could just see how long this goes. Maybe it'll go two years. Maybe it'll go five years. I don't know. I'm kind of interested in seeing what happens with this and where it turns up. And if there's a point of no return when it's just like, Mike, I can't do this anymore. And I'm just going over the edge of the cliff. I don't know. Maybe we'll hit that point. Maybe we won't. I think what's really cool, though, is so many of you are asking, how can I take cuttings of my hydrangea when I'm moving or going into winter? Well, just do it and use this method. We had a 100% success rate. And if you're not ready to plant it when you get to your new location, it can sit in the windowsill for a year. And then you can finally plant it when you're ready. So really cool. I don't know. You guys let me know. Tell me what you want to do in the comments down below. Are we keeping it in this cup or not? I won't do anything with it until I see what you guys say about it. Anyway, I hope you guys like this one. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see where this little guy ends up. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.